Da Brat and Jessica Judy Dupart in a portrait and essay series Da Brat and Jessica Judy Dupart, a married couple, have been quite open about their current pregnancy. The news that the rapper will be carrying their fetus, which they created with a sperm donor, startled the world. However, for them, it was about giving her the chance to enjoy childbirth, something Dupart has already had the pleasure of doing. We had a conversation with the couple to find out more about their remarkable experience, why they decided to try again after their first miscarriage, and what they are most excited to educate and imprint in their son. Dobrat discusses her pregnancy, her eagerness to start a family, and other topics. I initially believed that since my wife has experience carrying children, it would be perfect for her to do so. But as we spoke about the wonderful feeling of carrying a life, I understood that no love in the world could equal to witnessing a life emerge from your own body. Even being able to bear a child at 49 is a marvel. If God would let it, I wanted to experience the beauty of parenthood, and what better partner for that experience than my soulmate and twin flame. I shed ugly tears when we initially learned we had a successful conception. I don't even know the word, whatever is bigger than grateful, I was just so ecstatic. Though I'm still a little anxious, I'm really happy. Soon, I'll have a child calling me mom, I'll be nursing and doing diaper changes, all the things I never thought I'd get to do. I genuinely believe that I wouldn't be able to have children. This is our rainbow baby, and I honestly feel like I have a tiny miracle drop inside of me. I was quite depressed after our prior miscarriage, but I didn't want to give up or wait until it was too late. I'm 29 weeks pregnant, so I'm really glad we decided to try again. Though I'm still a little anxious, I'm really happy. Soon, I'll have a child calling me mom, I'll be nursing and doing diaper changes, all the things I never thought I'd get to do. I genuinely believe that I wouldn't be able to have children. This is our rainbow baby, and I honestly feel like I have a tiny miracle drop inside of me. I was quite depressed after our prior miscarriage, but I didn't want to give up or wait until it was too late. I'm 29 weeks pregnant, so I'm really glad we decided to try again. To all the other women out there carrying life, just take it all in and enjoy the journey. Once our infants are born, all the things we complained about during the journey will be worthwhile. My ankles are swelled, my toes like Vienna sausages, I have hemorrhoids, which I've never had, carpal tunnel in both hands, and it's difficult to breathe. But I make an effort not to gripe. Fortunately, I have a lovely wife who has supported me throughout everything. I don't take this great blessing for granted since it is one. My body is performing a miracle, and I want to express my gratitude to God for it. I want our baby to believe in God and that he is the origin of all things. Last but not least, if there are any women out there who want to become parents, it is never too late. Never single out yourself or believe it isn't feasible. With God, anything is conceivable. Just educate yourself. If you give up, you'll never know if it's possible or not. There is a blessing waiting for you. Being a mother means, to me, giving your all, no matter how difficult it may be, since you have small ones depending on you. To allow your children to be their best selves as well, you give up all selfishness. Things are different for me this time. Now that I'm where I am, I have access to better information and resources. I was 15, 17, and 19 when I had my children, and I usually tried to conceal my pregnancy. But since I'm older now, we were eager to tell everyone about this one. I have purposefully loved on all the different aspects of her throughout this process, and have just supported her. She should feel as wonderful as she can during this time, in my opinion. I also want her to know that no question is too outlandish to ask me. It's really fun to see her enjoy the process. Many people questioned our choice to let Da Brat carry, but I was confident that it would change her for the better, and that she would value every aspect of it, which is exactly what has happened. We are